This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. Let's hear from uh, Tua Tunga Vailoa. He addressed the media a little bit ago. Let's hear from the young man. Go ahead, Sean. Uh, you know, express, you know, that my heart goes out to Elijah. Um, you know, the, the player that got hurt, Elijah Riley, you know, it's, it's tough playing in this league. And, you know, I, I, I would say I care more about, you know, the guys, who they are as people out there on the field, whereas they, um, you know, are as football players. But I uh, just wanted to say that before we get started. Start with questions from David. Hey, so uh, thank you for that. That was a thoughtful statement. Um, first, uh, what was working in the ground game for you guys? What did you feel that you guys were able to find uh, against the Jets and with Duke Johnson and having the effect in the I think the, the O-line did a great job today up front, um, you know, with creating, you know, the, those opportunities for Duke to find the hole and, you know, and, and hit it and, you know, find ways to, to bounce the ball and, you know, have Duke be, be himself uh, running the ball. That's how he, he was his entire career playing in the NFL. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that uh, we were able to witness that uh, today. So uh, I wanted to ask you your satisfaction of uh, the disappointment of throwing the pick six, and yet you were able to help the team come back right away and get the winning touchdown to Devontae. Can you describe that kind of ride of emotions you went through? Yeah, uh, I mean, terrible, terrible decision on my part, obviously, uh, with the pick six, but we got to move on. The game's not over. We got to go down and we got to put some points on the board. And that's what we did. So, you know, you, you never you never want that to happen, but, um, you know, it, it does happen. And so it's got to move on from it. And I'm, I'm glad we were able to overcome it. You know, not just offensively, but as a team, you know, it started the first half and it really trickled all the way into the second half. Thanks. So it looks like you channeled your uh, inner Duke Johnson on, on one play and run up the middle. Uh, can you walk us through that play where you ran over a defender? Yeah, just remind me not to ever do that again. Um, <laughs> you know, much respect to number 30, uh, Carter. He's a hell of a player. You know, I, I obviously don't think that he was expecting me to <laughs> lower my shoulder and try to run him over. Uh, you know, just from the previous runs I had, I either slid or, you know, try to get out of bounds. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it, it was just an in-the-moment thing for me, and truly really all it was. Daniel? Hey, Tua, um, with Jalen being out, uh, what changes, if any, do you guys have to make to the offense? Obviously, you guys kind of struggled on, on the early game. But what kind of clicked? That was the I couldn't, sorry, I, I couldn't really hear your question, but I heard Jalen. I, you know, I, even if Jalen's, you know, out, I, I think the approach that we, we all took um, with him being out is next man up and we had to continue to prepare. I mean, you know, Jalen, Jalen doesn't win us the games. He obviously is a help uh, with, with us to win games, but, um, you know, I think all the guys that were out there, they put in a lot of hard work and uh, I think they did a great job, you know, with, uh, primary blocking, whether it's in the run game or, you know, responsibilities in a pass game. I think they all did a great job. I'm not sure if you can hear me a little better now, but what was clicking later on that maybe wasn't working the first couple of drives? Yeah, I think I think it was just adjustments uh, in the second half uh, for us. You know, we just started to look at our matchups more. Um, and then obviously with their coverages, you know, they, they mixed in some – some man coverages on second and long. So, uh, you know, we we were kind of prepared for for that if that ever occurred. But more often than not, they they played quarters. Sometimes they'd play six. Um, and really, we just try to run the ball and, and uh, you know, block primary and uh, have, the, have their secondary guys uh, make tackles. Joe? Hey, Tua, with the team having climbed from a one and seven start to now a seven and seven record, what do you think are some of the biggest factors that have enabled that dramatic change to occur? 
you know, I'm just being around the guys. I, I, I really think it's, it's just the communication, just guys being in, in the building when, you know, we're, we have off days, um, guys wanting to work, stay back extra. You know, I think all those play factors into um, our success on the field. So. Thank you. To how effective can this RPO offense be when that run game is working? And do you feel like this is something that you guys can build off? Yeah, I, I definitely think it's very effective. And I, I, I think it, you know, it, it's something that we can build off. It, it has been something we've been uh, trying to build off, um, you know, from the Ravens game to the time we played the Jets the first time and, and so on. So uh, I, I do think that this is something that we can build off on, but, you know, I, I think there's also areas within our RPO game that we can get better with, uh, more so with me and in, in the decision making. All right, two more, Donovan and then Ruby. Hey, Tool, what's going on, bro? Um, so Christian Wilkins probably did everything imaginable after his touchdown. I mean, jumped into the stands, hit the worm, even did some break dancing. Just talk about, you know, getting that guy more into the end zone more often so we could see more of that stuff. Cause that was a lot of fun for, I guess, for fans and you guys as well. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm not the offense coordinator. Um, and that I don't have, have a say in it, but I, you know, I think now that we put that on tape, guys are going to, you know, start to, start to kind of game plan that maybe, um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I think it's tough to run, to run a, alignment out again after <laughs> after him scoring once so maybe next time we punch the ball in or we'll we'll game plan a gadget but I think that was awesome that was cool cool to see him uh score I think that was the first time I threw a, a defensive lineman or or alignment a touchdown in my career Can you talk about his celebration yeah I only seen when he was trying to do the spin spin a Rooney on the ground after that I, I just turned around and went back to the sideline all right, last question, Ruby. Oh. So I was going to ask you about Christian, but instead I'll ask you about um, just Duke Johnson specifically to have that performance, you know, in front of his hometown uh, on the you know field that he played college football on. Just how cool is that as his teammate to see that kind of performance? I mean, it's very cool. Me and Duke actually live in the same estate, which is even cooler. And I didn't even know that uh, until he brought it up uh, for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I think it's, it's super cool, especially with the, the crowd. I, I, I think I heard the crowd saying Duke, you know, with a loud Duke. So I, I thought that was pretty cool. And, um, you know, I, I, I know he enjoyed it, uh, but, you know, just knowing the person that he is, he's very, you know, grateful for the guys out there as far as the linemen and whatnot. So I'm, I'm happy for him. This is the Big O Show.